welcome back to my channel. Today I went to Sephora and I took advantage of my 20% off coupon. I'd also picked up some other makeup-y bits because, well, I, I bought some makeup about a year ago. I got swept up into the hype of all the seals, seals, sales, when things were, when shops were closing down and also I knew that I was going to have my wedding later that year and for some reason I thought, oh, I'm going to suddenly start doing my makeup now that I'm home and maybe even on my wedding day I would do a lot more makeup than I normally do. I didn't. <laughs> I wore really minimal makeup on my wedding. I loved it. It felt like me and they always say don't do something crazy. Don't do things that you would normally never do for your wedding day because you're not going to feel like yourself. You're not going to feel your most beautiful. So the makeup I did was really minimal and unfortunately a lot of the makeup that I purchased has now gone bad. I am fussy about those expiration dates. I know a lot of people say it's totally arbitrary and that you don't need to worry about it, but I don't I don't know. It freaks me out putting things near my eye. But some of the things, they just dry out. Eyeliners dry out, mascaras dry out. I did pick up some things. Um, first, just to share with you, I got these little bowls in anthropology because there was an anthropology next to the Sephora. And I just thought they were really cute. I am working from home, which means I'm snacking a lot. So they're just these little bowls. We're constantly running out of bowls. <laughs> My husband's not gonna like these at all. But I think they're pretty. It's like this really soft, mauvey pink, uh, just nice. Like I can have my yogurt in here. We normally will pick up a lot of pottery from local artists and every time we travel, we'll pick up a different mug or something funky like that. And this is, this is not something that he would normally pick out but I thought it was pretty. And I'm the one who's working from home, so I will be the one using them. Yeah, I just, you know, they're nice. They're dishwasher safe, they're microwave safe, whatever. But to get into the Sephora bag, and also there are a few things that I got here from Nordstrom, but I just recently got them, so I figured it was worth sharing it now anyway. So Sephora, they had all of their items at 30% off, and I decided to get a facial roller. I figured six bucks off, that's as good as I'm gonna get. Why not try it? Frankly, I don't really believe in a lot of the, I feel like science is too generous a word. I, I, don't, I, I don't know if I follow the hype with a lot of current skincare recommendations. I think the research behind what they say they do is shoddy at best. It's really non-existent, but I've heard that this feels nice. Maybe it causes some temporary improvement. I don't know. Maybe it's a miracle worker. Whatever. I, I've heard it feels nice and I'm always going to be curious about it. So I figured for 14 bucks, I might as well satisfy that curiosity. So for makeup, I feel like such a fraud doing this video because there's just such an incredible incredibly developed beauty community on YouTube and I'm like so not a part of it. Um, I, I suck at doing my makeup. I can do just like some basics really well. Anything fancier than that, I'm terrible. I don't really bother with eyeshadow because I suck at it. But speaking of eyeshadow, I do like to have just a really neutral, just wash of a really, something that matches my skin tone. See, I don't even know how to talk about makeup. That's how much I suck at it. So, here's this Marc Jacobs Omega Shadow. This is called Perfect O. It's 500. This is pretty much my palest skin shade. And these are really, really pigmented. So I take my fluffiest brush, just barely swipe it through, knock off the excess, and then just, I, I put it on my lid to have a more neutral base so that you can't see all the colors on my eyelid and then I have just my liner. Okay, so this was my old one and I'm obviously keeping it because I do not believe that powders go badly that quickly, but I did pick up a slightly darker color. Uh, this is called Big O, <laughs> uh, shade 520. This is hard to get out. Okay, so all the Marc Jacobs makeup was on sale in addition to the VIB sale. It, I mean, they were really heavily reduced. It makes me wonder, I mean, does 
Does anyone know, is Marc Jacobs not doing makeup anymore? Or is Sephora not going to be carrying it anymore? They have really good makeup, so if you haven't tried it, I mean, now is definitely the time to do it. But you probably won't even be able to tell the difference on camera. This one is slightly darker. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's showing up. This is a little bit more taupe, and when I have a little bit more color in the summertime, this will go better with my skin. This, it can almost look like I have, it's so opaque, it can almost look like I put white shadow in comparison to uh, my tanner skin. So I picked these up. I tried to be good. I am ashamed to say how much money I used to spend at these VIB sales. I would pick up a ton of lipsticks to the point where I had this basket full of various shades of pink and red and purpley reds. I, like, I never once finished them, ever. And now we're not really wearing, I'm, I'm not really wearing lipstick. I always say work, like we're, you know, we're hanging up together right now. Um, and me and all my personalities, I, I don't really wear lipstick anymore. It gets on the mask, I don't care uh, about having that like brief pop of color, you know, if like I, I have to pull it down when we're eating or something. I don't really put on face makeup and my favorite face, uh, any kind of foundation right now, it's the Glossier Skin Tint, which I did also uh, get in my correct shade for my winter paleness, but I picked up the Dior Lip Glow because it was time to throw my old ones out. I do really like this. It's very similar. It's not as hydrating, but it's very similar to what the Bomb.com one does, but it has the benefit where you don't have to use your finger. So it was just really nice. This was in the new pink shade and it's a pretty little package. This is the only lip product that I bought and I don't plan on getting any more lip products until we're officially out of mask wearing. That'll be my big celebration. Maybe I will pick up one special lipstick. This is the Dior Show Pump and Brow. I do love the Glossier Boy Brow, but that stuff is so thick. <laughs> and I feel like I have to be really careful when I'm putting it on, because otherwise you can get that big blob right on the front of your brow. Like I have to kind of start in the middle just so in case there are any blobs, like it, you can brush it out. But this is effortless. It's not as stiff. It doesn't have as much hold as the boy brow, which I like. I like to have both those options. And pretty much when I do my makeup now, it's liner, mascara, brows. That's it. There's no point in anything else in my opinion. This is the O2 dark brown shade. And it's a really good alternative to the boy brow if you don't want something that stiff. I also picked up the Tom Ford mascara. Now, I'll definitely pick up pricier makeup just because I don't have a lot of makeup now. And I just, you know, I want the stuff that I have to do exactly what I expect and then some. And with sucking at makeup, really nice makeup often makes it easier on me. For example, I picked up another Tom Ford liner. This stuff is amazing. It's pricey, but it lasts a full year. I've never seen liquid liner last a year. They usually dry up within three months or they run out. The other one was just finally, uh, just I noticed a couple weeks ago, my old one wasn't performing as well as it had, but this stuff is amazing and it is goof proof. I'm not particularly talented at putting on eyeliner, but you can make the thinnest line. What I'll often do, I did just get this, I've mentioned this one before, but this is the Chanel Cassis Stilo Waterproof Liner. It's this slightly brownie purple shade. It's amazing, but what I really love to do is I like to have this, sometimes smudge it out, and then have this just for definition along my lash line. It's really pretty and really, really easy, which I need. Oh, I just chucked this in the bag when I was gathering up my makeup to show you but the Glossier Generation lipsticks are really nice and they just kind of give you that little extra oomph. Um, my husband's not into the look of lipsticks and makeup in general, like unless it's just uh, really like enhancing what you already have. And 
the longer we've been in lockdown, the more I've followed that philosophy. And also, uh, do you ever notice that sometimes when you have a partner, you like you can't help but shift towards the things that they like? Um, I don't know why that happens. I still, I still have my own individual style, and I still definitely uh, love things that he does not love. But I really enjoy this lipstick, and I'm just gonna hold on to it for as long as possible. And when we do get rid of masks. Maybe I will celebrate with another one from Glossier. Continuing on, this is just the Ultra Fine Precision Brow Liner from Dior. I love this eyeliner pen because it's really subtle, puts down just the right amount of color, it lasts for ages, it just twists up, has a little spoolie on the end. My spoolie was getting kind of mucky. So I threw that one away and also like, you know, they dry up uh, after a really long time. I had had that one for over a year. And this is, yeah, O2 Dark Brown. It's just a really good color for me. It's not too powdery, it's not too pigmented. It just, it works exactly the way I want it to and that's all I can say. I did get another little hair oil. I tried to only get things that I've used in the past and no behave well and that I know I will actually use. This was new. This is a Tom Ford powder. Just because the Glossier Skin Tint can be very glossy, it can be, you know, uh, oh no, I just reached a blank. Um, the Glossier Skin Tint's really nice, but you can look a little shiny. So this is not too powdery. It's just a really fine powder and I can take a super, super fluffy, fluffy brush so it picks up as minimal as possible, but it's also just really fine. Slap it on my forehead and I'm good to go. Last thing I picked up was the little mini Giorgio Armani Si Passione perfume because I'm almost out and I love this one. I also just really like minis. I don't think I'm gonna be buying any big perfumes for the foreseeable future. I really am interested in the Louis Vuitton ones, but I'm not letting myself buy any until I finish up my perfumes. I, I don't see myself getting any for at least another year. I'm just gonna focus on what I have, but I have been putting on perfume recently just while I'm home, because, you know, why not? Otherwise, I wouldn't get to use any of the nice things I have. So that was it. I feel like I was pretty good. I would go and spend hundreds of dollars with each of these sales and get sucked in to things that I would use a couple times and then never use again. I didn't really pick up any fancy eyeshadow palettes because I finally learned my lesson that I don't use them. I still have my Tom Ford ones, but mostly I just like these simple nude shades to enhance or just like uh, neutralize my eyelid. I I feel like this was I feel like this was a good buy. I don't feel like I spent too much money. I don't feel like I went in and just went crazy adding things to the basket, which has definitely happened. I remember one time I was having a really bad skin week and I was feeling so stressed and so frustrated from it. After work I went immediately to a Sephora and I got one of the Clarisonic things and then I returned it the next day. I, I don't know what kind of panic came over me but I was just like I need something to fix this and nothing. I don't... loony. Absolutely loony the the things that I used to buy from Sephora and I, I know that it can sound weird to try to find any kind of silver lining um, out of 2020 and all the terrible things that happened and that we're still struggling with but I will I will little I will take any good news that I can get I, that's just that's the personality I have and if anything else, at least it helps sort out some priorities and lots of accumulating lots of makeup y bits just isn't as important to me and I don't want to waste my money just because I'm not going to enjoy these things and they just sit there even before the pandemic and I started wearing a lot less makeup. So yes, that is all I had to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know some of your favorite makeup bits that you've been enjoying recently if you're planning on getting anything from the sale, but I will talk to you later. Bye.